Hello friends, welcome back to iPad and iPhone tutorials. Um, in, the in the last lesson, uh, I did mention that we are going to do our first application today. So, yes, we will build our first application today. It's very easy and I will show you how to do it. First of all, I'm going to get you uh, to you know get a hang of uh, how Xcode functions. So, first we will see how Xcode basically works and uh, you know how you can build your first application uh, let us start by creating a new project and uh, let's just say window based application which is going to be our first application we, s we select window based application you can select um, the product here so if you if you're basically planning to build an application for iPhone you can select iPhone or if you want to build an application for iPad you select iPad or if you want to build an application that works both on iPhone and iPad then you have to select universal um, of course you know because of the sizes are different the picture quality has to be different and the resolution has to be different in um, in the apps which are universal uh, or which are meant specifically for iPhone or I iPad what we're gonna do now is uh, you know just select iPhone for now and click on choose uh, remember we we have to select the application from here and not from here so application window based iPhone and then we select choose once we do that it basically asks us to select a name for the application so we're gonna we're gonna basically write um, say for example YouTube app one for example yeah and we click on save now the moment you do that um, you would see that a window comes up um, now this is the Xcode window and it would look something like this where you would have all your uh, you would have all your files from the app now if you if I just you know close this you would see you have your app which you just created then targets executables find results bookmarks SCM project symbols implementation files interface builder files but we're not going to bother about all this as of now we're going to just expand our app and under that we have five main uh, folders which are classes other sources resources frameworks and products now these are the ones that we would be working with most of the time um, we would not be touching the bottom uh, you know folders for now we would only be focusing on the first five at the top under our app uh, main folder yeah now um, in this app we're not going to do anything and I mean we're not going to do anything what we would do is basically just you know see how it works and then in the next one we will do a little bit of more adding of features so what we've done is just created an app and literally did, uh, done nothing on this app as of now um, and without doing anything we, what we would do is we would select um, now again from this uh, menu here you can actually select whether you want to see the app functioning on a device or on the simulator now if you want to see the app how it looks on the device you would have to connect the device but uh, as, as, as a starting point maybe we just want to see it on the simulator which is more or less exactly like the way it would appear on the on the device so I've selected simulator but again it, it is your choice I would encourage everybody to use simulator for now um, you would see the name of your app below that you would have uh, the name of your app hyphen iPhone simulator or iPad simulator so you, I would select iPhone simulator for now and um, because we we selected iPhone in the first place while we were choosing to build the application um, so I would select iPhone simulator now remember I've done nothing on this app as of now I've just simply uh, selected um, iPhone simulator and I've um, I've just you know basically I've selected iPhone simulator from there and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on build and run see it brings your app up and it is blank and that's obvious because we did nothing on the app so it's blank but as you know the Xcode is a powerful tool which builds the app for you directly from you know from the codes that exist in the app 
because there are no codes it 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 comes up as blank for now um what you can do is also click on this home button here and see how your app would look like now i was um please ignore this one um and look you know your app basically appears as a youtube app one and it's a blank white screen i'll tell you in later um, lessons how to how to make the icon for this one but as of now i just wanted to show you how your app would look like you know when it's a which it's a fully blank app yeah now um if you want your app to disappear from here you can also go to ios simulator um, and reset content and settings so what it would do is basically make the simulator blank um, so if i if i do that um, and i say i and i say reset it basically removes the app that we have put there for testing purposes so now if I go to build and run you would see uh, only one of the apps would show the first one has disappeared because uh, that was just a test and I had already deleted it now um, you can quit the simulator by clicking on iOS and quit simulator or you can simply press the command Q and it would disappear now um, there are a couple of things that I want to show you before we go on to our next app um, which is on your app folder you would see there's a file called main m and there's a file called main xib now let's expand the classes you would see that when you expand the classes um, let me move this so that you can see the file more clearly when you expand the classes, you would see your app delegate.h file delegate.m file when you click on other resources you would see the prefix.pch your main.m file um, when you click on resources you would see the main window um, main window xib file and you would see the info plist file we will discuss what these are later on but i'm just gonna show you you know what uh, each of these folders have so under your frameworks you would have you would have your ui kit you would have your foundation you would have a core graphics and the products you would have your final product which is your app this is basically the app that you're going to launch later on um, now coming back to the main.m file you would see there's a pretty nice thing here you know it says copyright 2011 my company name all rights reserved so it makes sense to change that to something more logical so it says created by Vineet obviously no, nobody's gonna see that but uh, you just want to make sure that your apps are your apps so you, you know you you may want to write in the name of the company so I'll, I'll use the name of the company um, for now we've got a couple of companies um, I, I personally do uh, iPad app building and we make iP uh, iPad and iPhone apps and all kind of mobile applications for our clients um, and I've got uh, another company called brand web direct which basically produces apps and you know social media applications as well but never mind uh, not we won't go into that discussion i just wanted to show you this uh, feature so that you know you make it a habit of writing details more details about your apps wherever possible now if you double click on the uh, main window dot xib file you would see that uh, a couple of windows come up now one of them would be the main window dot xib the other one would be the window um the window uh, it's basically a window which which basically reflects how your app is going to look to people when they're using it as of now our app contains nothing which is why there's nothing on this on this window uh, we also want to make sure that we always see the library so it is by default it is not activated so you would need to activate it by going to tools library all right and it would look something like this now um, for some of you if the if the view is different I would I would suggest and I would encourage that you uh, that you select the option which says view icons and descriptions this is important because uh, you know we are now trying to learn how to build applications so it would it would be easier if we have a small description of what each of these objects were you would see there are objects classes and media but first we will concentrate only on objects so uh, again you know you would see there are a lot of objects in the library we'll come to that later on 
I just wanted you to have a you know look at the window um, again uh, to repeat myself I would always encourage all of you to use the view icons and descriptions so that you see the uh, object and a small description about it there are other options as well but we rather uh, we rather you know just have view icons and descriptions now to be very very organized um, what we would do is you know we can put the main window here we can have the main um, code window here we could have the uh, the user interface window here which basically reflects the, how the app is going to look to the users the end users um, we can reduce the size of these windows uh, to fit on the screen as you can see you know I'm trying to make the place uh, make the screen look more organized so it, it's up to us how we want to organize it um, I prefer something which is very very handy um, in which case I would go for something like this um, yep something like this which is more comfortable for me to work on now oops, where did that disappear yep alright um, now again uh, coming back to it we saw that surprisingly it disappears every time I click on Xcode and comes back when I click on the main window but anyways, I think that's just a feature of, of the new Mac. Um, so so that you know, I'm using a Mac Pro, which has recently been launched. Um, so it may differ from other Mac machines that you're using. Um, but never mind. Because this app, there was nothing, you know, we see nothing on, on the main window. What we're going to do now is we're going to basically just, uh, basically just, you know, click on File. And close window it would ask us to save the uh, files before closing we can say save or we can say don't save I'm gonna do don't save because we we did nothing it was just for an explanation purpose so I'm not gonna save this one but you have the option of saving it if you want so I'm gonna go don't save for now yeah so now you know what these windows are um, and how they look like I would also show you in the next tutorial how to build an app which uh, with a few labels and text and other objects added into it. I just wanted to give you a small idea of you know if you don't do anything if you don't write any code still you know the Xcode would work for you and build an app for you just like it would look like on a real iPhone. Um, thanks a lot for watching this video on the next one we're gonna build an app with some text and some objects inside. Um, again, if you like my videos, please encourage me by subscribing to the channel. It would really help me, um, you know, put in more videos as soon as possible. It just, it just acts as a motivation for me. Um, I'll see you in the next video very soon. Thank you. Cheers.